Hi guys, Salty22 with Tune Nocturnal and Latin Droid, and I'm back again with another video. And this time I'm gonna show you a little uh, tip that I found on on the Galaxy Note 2 that is uh, pretty hot. This uh, this little feature right here, it's awesome, and I'm gonna share it with you guys today. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys a little uh, couple of things that I found on the phone. First of all, when the phone's off. And uh, let's say you're in a meeting or in the middle of a class in school or in the doctor's office or anywhere that you cannot access your phone like with two hands and play with it or whatever. But you also waiting on a, an important call or an important message or email or whatever. You're just going to keep an eye on your phone so uh, to see what time it arrives. All you got to do, guys, is with your hand, just do this and the phone will turn on. And it'll show you if you got any notifications on it. And you can do that. Just uh, you don't have to touch the phone. All you got to do is wave your hand on top of it. And it'll turn on. Like I said, and it'll show you you got any notifications or whatever. That that feature right there is pretty pretty good. And uh, let's turn the phone on. Let me show you also, guys, something else. Okay. When the phone's on and you're in the lock screen, as you can see on the bottom, we got our notifications down there too. You got the top ones, the typical ones, and you also got those. In this case, we're using Facebook status, but you can change it to the um, news or weather or whatever you want to put it in there. And all you got to do is swipe up, and you can you can look, you know, uh, different topics on Facebook or whatever. And let's say you see one that catches your eye and you want to jump into it, you just click on it, and it'll take you straight to Facebook from the lock screen. So you just access Facebook from the lock screen without... Uh, without opening the device you know so you start reading or whatever put likes and stuff like that let's get back out okay you're in the home screen uh let me show you something with the s pen real quick when you pull up the s pen you hear that it makes a noise telling you that the s pen is being removed and it also pops a little menu you can do with it you got an s note and you got this uh, an extra home page that you there was stuff that you can do with the s pen but we're not gonna do that right now. Go back to the home. Let's say uh, you're looking at movies and you you deciding which movie you're gonna go watch or whatever, and somebody sends you a text or a link or something, you know that uh, oh yo check this website is really cool, it's awesome, it's Team Nocturnal. In this case, we're gonna use Team Nocturnal. So all you gotta do with a little button on the S Pen, you press it and you swipe up, and it'll launch the quick command uh, window. From right here, you just draw this question mark that's going to launch the browser. And then you just write Team Nocturnal. Let's see if you recognize my handwriting. It's not that great. But it did. You see? Team Nocturnal. Okay. So, uh, let's see. This one. Team Nocturnal. Okay. You're here, and you're watching the. You're checking this website out. Oh, it's pretty cool. Team Nocturnal, I've been there before, or whatever. But this is just an example, guys. And um, you start reading. If you don't want to be touching the screen too much, or whatever. All you gotta do is hover the pen, and you're gonna see a little arrow, and the content it'll start scrolling for you. You can go up and down with it. You can go side to side. I think no. Where the pages allow you to, it will. You see that little arrow. But anyways. Latest topics. You see, when you're hovering the pen above content, it'll start blinking, telling you that you want to pick that. You can just tap it on it. In this case, let's use the ROM Premiere LTE from Bill. It's a good ROM, by the way. Thanks, Bill, for it. And um, the reason I went in here because I'm gonna show you guys a feature that I found on this uh, on this S Pen. You see, it'll take you to the last page. But let's say you you new and you want to try this ROM out or whatever. So you go to the first page to see all the info on the ROM and uh, you start reading. Like I said, you don't have to touch the screen. You can just hover it and you start reading the goods of the ROM and all that stuff, the tweaks. And um, you go down, go down and you see the change logs and all that stuff. So while you do debating and getting this ROM or not, and you start reading until you hit here, you see, oh, they got a video on this ROM like a review in that case that's me and um so let's say you want to see the rom in action before you even download it so you know a lot of people like like to see roms before they try them out and stuff so 
in this case let's use it so you pop on the video and use a pop-up browser and then a little mini browser is gonna pop up right here and that's me with a video you see you still on the website so you click on the video the video starts playing and uh, you can still read while the video is playing you see what I mean that's me right there so you can move it around you can exit it out or uh, or make it big you know but you don't want to do that because you want to keep on reading on the web page so let's say you you uh, you decide you're gonna get it you start the download and then you see like oh I like that guy you know I like the, I like the way he explained the videos or whatever or he talks Spanish and I'm Latino you know whatever the reason is if you want to follow me there you 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 don't want to forget my name so that way when you go to YouTube you can just look for me so all you gotta do is press the button on the S pen double tap the screen and it'll pop up the S note you see and then right here you just type in you're still on the website you see I'm scrolling on the website look I'm scrolling on the website so uh, all you gotta do is write my name salty22 on YouTube excuse my handwriting guys but anyways you save that note and the note will be saved that way when you go to YouTube you pop up your S notes and uh that, that's me right there you can uh, just type in my name and, and find me real quick you see but this is us a little preview that you can do multiple stuff through multitasking on the galaxy note 2 without actually leaving the page that you uh, the main page that we, you were on before so that's it for now guys uh, like i said i'm gonna start making videos like this small videos you know that we can cover step by step and uh by, one by one all the features that this phone has to offer and um i want to thank the team nocturnal and Latin Droid for um, all the development that we're doing. And uh, thank you guys for all the re good reviews, good comments, the likes and everything. And if you guys like my video, you know what to do. Put a like on it. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them on the comment section. And we'll, free, uh, we'll be uh, glad to help you guys. So this is Alti22 again. Next video. See you guys later.